sir is it audible sir my voice is audible sir let me see no sir sir yes sir yes sir your voice is audible sir yes sir sir your voice is audible sir yeah yeah thank you sir thank you please give us another 2 minutes sir yeah yeah no problem srikant sir anita madam prasanna madam వీడియో అందేమని రాజేష్ శని అండ్ చెప్పడానికి రెడీగా ఉండమనండి ఇప్పుడు అనౌన్స్ చేస్తాను ఫోన్ చేసి వీడియో ఆన్ చేసుకోమనండి ఫస్ట్ చేసుకోమనండి అండ్ రెడీగా ఉండమనండి నేను అనౌన్స్ చేయగానే చెప్పాలి నౌ sorry sir sorry for this events and as student uh, uh, and for, first of all welcome uh, welcome to the board sir shrinivas sir thank you madam and uh, rajeshri uh, just uh, she is the student of first year btech csit second semester and yes. she want to give a brief profile of the author speaker sir yes sir please go ahead ma'am unmute unmute yourself you are not audible Remove, remove your headphones, please. Let's go. Let's go. ఓకే సార్ ఎనీథింగ్ ప్రాబ్లం హలో సార్ సార్ ప్లీజ్ సార్ ఎనీ 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 ప్రాబ్లం సార్ ఓకే సార్ సార్ శ్రీనివాస్ సార్ యూ ప్లీజ్ స్టార్ట్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ సార్ యా ప్లీజ్ యువర్ వాయిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఆడిబుల్ అమ్మ శ్రీనివాస్ సార్ ఓకే సార్ ఓకే సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ 
giving me this opportunity to IARE, Dr. Polaya sir. And today I would like to explain uh, the concept of Please unmute, madam. Uh, welcome to Five Day International Training Program, my dear students and my dear faculty members. Today I would like to explain ontology-based data access, that is OBDE. So what is meant by ontology-based data access? First of all, you need to know it. What is ontology? So ontology refers to the a formal representation of knowledge or information. When you are getting knowledge, you need to do from scratch work to refined work. There are many steps are involved. That is called the knowledge discovery process. Knowledge discovery data. Knowledge discovery information. Knowledge discovery interested patterns. That is called ontology. Ontology refers to the study of existing and being and reality. The relationship between uh, in a particular domain, we are solving various applications in order to get the knowledge. So in order to get knowledge, we need to follow the many steps. Before going to our topic, ontology-based data access, I would like to introduce uh, a small concept called uh, where we are getting data. Within 60 seconds, what is happening in this world? How many users are connected to this internet world? Can you imagine? My dear students, if you are having internet, please type www internetlivestats.com so you may get how many users are connected within 60 seconds see here example 1 million logging users are connected in the facebook 3.8 million search queries presented in the 60 seconds 18.1 million text sent 4.5 million videos viewed and 3,90,030 apps downloaded and 2.1 million snaps created, 6,94,444 hours watched in the Netflix, 1.8 million emails sent. Where I am getting this data? How many users are connected to this internet world? Can you see? If you type www.internetlivestats.com, I am getting a user data. What type of user data? Internet statistical user data. How many users are connected to this internet world? Can you read this number? First one, internet users in the world. See, 53 billion, 6 million, 169,641 internet users in the, in the world right now within 60 seconds. Total number of websites open. Can you imagine? Can you read this number? Reading itself, the number is very difficult. So what I am saying, why, why I am explaining this one, where we are getting data. Once you are having data, then we are preparing knowledge. Okay. So, uh, but that's why wherever data is there, there is a relationship between the data and uh, we are fine tuning and preparing the knowledge. In between data to knowledge, there are many steps are involved. That steps may be knowledge discovery data, knowledge discovery information and uh, interested information, interested facts. So there is a relationship between existing data being data and real-time data. Relationship between any particular domain, what is existing, what is being and what is reality. So that relation is called ontology. So where I am getting the data? Through internet, maybe bank transactions, maybe uh, NASA data, weather forecasting data, traffic data, various kinds of data 
I am available. YouTube data, audio data, text, graphics, animation, etc. If you type www.internetlivestats.com, you are getting a live data from the YouTube, from the internet. Internet is a network of networks. Network is an interconnection between the computers. Internet is developed by Bold Bernack Newman. www proposed by Berner, Tim Berners-Lee and email is uh, developed by Raytum Linson. This is the jargon of IT and jargon of internet. You must know it. Now, now you got, uh, got it where we are getting information. Through Facebook we are getting, through WhatsApp we are getting, okay, and various kinds of data we are getting. One second. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, sir good afternoon, Chapandi. In a very meeting, Luna, agenda, Chapandi. Ah, ah, sir, Chapandi. Ah, three to four, Chapandi, Pillar. Ah, sir, I think four to five. Four to five, Japan, Chan. Okay, sir. One time, sir. Okay. Okay, sorry for uh, uh, interrupt. My voice is audible. Please acknowledge me, anyone? Yes, yes, you are audible, sir. You can yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, see, in the same uh, uh, slide, I have incorporated all the numbers are changing. Please observe uh, in this internetlivestats.com. Why I am explaining all these? Where we are getting the data? What we are going to do with the data? What type of knowledge we are... Uh, extracting the relationship between old data, current data, and future data. There is a relationship between the data. That is called ontology. Okay. Are you getting? My dear students. Okay. So, ontology-based data access content. Today, I would like to cover introduction to ontology-based data access and the foundational concepts, an introduction to ant. We are getting a huge volume of data and creating mappings, query transformation, implementing ontology-based data access systems. What are the advanced topics in ontology-based data access? What are the applications of ontology-based data access? and tools and techniques of uh, ontology-based data access. And what are the case studies? And being a second year, I would like to give you projects, mini projects. Uh, I have prepared mini projects. I am going to share with you. And uh, this semester, you are going to implement uh, projects related to ontology-based data access. This is the agenda for today's. And tomorrow, I am giving a practical session. If you are ready, then uh, we are implementing all sort of applications through Python programming. And um, uh, this is the content, uh, uh, my dear students, any idea about uh, the syllabus of ontology-based data access? Please respond, anyone? Do you have uh, this subject in your curriculum, ontology-based data access? Hello, sir, anyone? Hello. Sir, my voice is audible. I'm getting yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can proceed, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank no you. Problem. Thank you. Please proceed, sir. Okay. So, this is the syllabus. Now, see the... What is... Sir, my screen is visible. Yeah, sir. We can control the chatting, sir. Is that is Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your screen is visible. Yeah, my screen is visible. Okay. So, what is meant by ontology? Ontology is a branch of philosophy that deals with the study of current data, old data, and future data. That is called existence of the data, being the data, and reality. What sort of knowledge we are creating from the scratch? 
that is called ontology so we need to understand the fundamental nature of things which domain you are taking whether you are taking biological data or social data or electronics data or computer science related data or supermarket data or nasa data what type of data you are taking what are their properties of the data and the relationship between that existing being and reality data that is called ontology keep in mind my dear friends ontology is nothing but relationship between different kinds of data in a particular domain whether it is old data current data and the future data that is called ontology in a more specific context ontology can refer to the formal representation of knowledge or information about a particular domain suppose i am taking a data science okay so in order to uh, solve data science applications with where i have to start what is the past historical knowledge so historical data means old data then what is the current data existing i mean uh, being data what is current uh, data then what is the future data it, it is going to transform future data so that kind of process is called kdd process knowledge discovery data formal representation of knowledge means meaningful data we are extracting interested analytics we are extracting or information about which type of uh, what we can call it as information information is the processed data is called information about a particular domain i am taking cyber security data what type of threats happened so and so network local area network wide area network metropolitan area network in the network level what type of threats are available and what type of uh, uh, malware attacks happened in the particular domain knowledge okay so if you see the ontology based data access so there is a query if you are asking the query and uh, it is comes under uh, uh, which domain suppose i am asking uh, who is the richest person in the globe that is the query you are asking so that query is related to financial data and financial market related who are the richest persons are available in the market such kind of uh, ontology conceptual layer describes where it we are getting uh, that data from uh, if you see uh, forbes.com www.forbes.com that is a website reveals who is richest person in the globe where that data we are getting it is stored in the system server or data center that is called a source that is called a data layer so from the source okay we are getting the information you simply what you are doing you are searching in the google and asking the query who is the richest person in the globe that query is related to database financial database okay that financial database is a ontology now you need to know the relationship between who are the richest person persons in the world olden days now who is the richest person in the current date and who is going to be a richest person that is also prediction algorithms we can predict based on their properties based on their income we can predict so such type of relationship between existing being and reality that is called ontology we are extracting meaningful data from the huge volume of data from the system server and data center this is called ontology based data access for accessing the data you are using sql mysql teradata db2 ms access various kinds of various kinds of queries you are using related to relational database tools and non relational database tools relational database tools are db2 ms access sql mysql 
Teradata, etc. And non-relational database tools are Mongo database, Hive, HBase, Zookeeper, Uzi, Scoop, Uzi, Cassandra. These are the non-relational database tools. So this is a, a diagram for uh, how uh, a person or a end user can ask a query related to ontology based uh, data access. Then uh, today agenda, uh, uh, I would like to explain introduction to ontology based data access, what it consists of. So understand what is uh, ontology based of OBDA and where it can be used, in which domains particularly we are using in the real-time environment. Foundational concepts, next one, what are the foundational concepts are there? So this would include basic concepts like related to data access, how do we access through relational databases or through non-relational databases? Then ontologies, what type of relationships are presented? Then what are the databases like SQL, MySQL, Teradata, and uh, uh, you can call it as a supermarket data, bank database, health database, stock market exchange database, weather forecasting database, etc. This could also include a brief introduction to semantic web technologies. Semantic means meaningful data. So web related uh, technologies, semantic web technologies like uh, HTTP, HTTPS, URL, XML, various kinds of uh, web technologies we are using and developing meaningful databases and standards like uh, RDF, relational descriptive file and uh, ontology, web logic program, web languages and uh, Spark QL query language. These are the foundational concepts I am going to demonstrate right now. Then the third topic, introduction to ontologies, what it covers, the purpose of ontologies, how they are developing and built and their structure. Structure is nothing but a, uh, you can call architecture is a structure which comprises the software and hardware components and the connections among them. You might cover different types of ontologies and uh, ontology languages, OL stands for ontology languages with an emphasis on uh, ontology web languages. Then introduction to data sources where we are getting huge volume of data. So in this uh, section, I would like to cover different types of data sources that can be used in an uh, ontology based data access context. Maybe SQL data of a bank system, healthcare database of uh, uh, any hospital data. It might cover relational databases like SQL, MySQL, Teradata, DB2, MS Access, and XML, extensible markup language databases, and uh, relational descriptive file format framework. You can call it as a framework and others. These are the data sources we are getting and creating mappings. Once you once we have a data databases and we are going to creating mappings. So mapping uh, done with many kinds of ways, understanding what are the mappings are, how they are created and how they connect ontologies to data sources. How do I can access XML database? How do I can access uh, RDF uh, database, how do I can access audio database, how do I can access video database. This could also cover different mapping languages and tools, various tools and uh, languages I am going to demonstrate. And uh, the sixth concept, query transformation. Query is nothing but a question. Which type of question are you posing in the Google? That question having a meaning and leads to the which ontology, whether it is a health related query, whether it is a financial related query, whether it is educational related query or whether it is a NASA related query, what kind, what kind of, that is called a SPARC QL. 
spark ql is nothing but query language or uh, transformed into queries some uh, some sql mysql queries can be transformed into uh, whatever the questions you are expecting or queries over the actual data sources if you give data source we can frame n number of queries okay so state state the problem and uh, demonstrate uh, your practical and uh, like that list out uh, characteristics of ontology like we can frame our own queries uh, based on the data source example sql sql you are saying that who is the richest person then you are writing a sql query from finance table where see so you are select, select table select finance table where or from financial table where uh, old the richest person uh, salary salary so if it is uh, obviously greater than at one the current the richest person is uh, you can call it as a jeff bezos is the amazon ceo next uh, here uh, we are going to see the what are the tools and techniques and the software to implement uh, ontology based data access system such as the ontop framework it is a tool ontop is a framework which integrates n number of tools in order to perform various query transformations and uh, we are developing creating mappings etc next eighth concept is advanced topics in uh, ontology based data access this might cover more complex or recent developments in obda such as handling inconsistency that means suppose uh, if you are developing any application it is not showing properly so in meanwhile it is giving some errors it giving some mistakes it is not a consistency every time it is generating different kinds of results so that is called inconsistency scalability scalability is nothing but the size of the server or system or data center if number of users are increasing automatically the size of the data center also increases that is called scalability optimization in order to get the best results what are the optimization techniques we are applying for our ontology based databases and streaming data streaming is nothing but flow of data between system to system system to server server to system server to server okay that is called streaming data example stock market data streaming data sensex data youtube data those are the streaming data then what are the case studies so case studies may be healthcare data because i have executed many health related applications then logistics and manufacturing related applications then uh, projects uh, uh, we are taking uh, in healthcare domain logistics related domain and manufacturing weather forecasting retail industry and uh, many areas i would like to take uh, for you as mini project applications this is about uh, your complete syllabus of ontology based data access any doubt my dear friends please respond hello my my explanation is okay or any difficulty are you facing please let me know it am i fast please respond anyone hello sir no sir it's clear sir no problem madam students no problem sir you carry on sir they are they are getting respond through chat box ma please respond through chat box yes. yeah so that i can get idea whether you are understanding or not okay okay sir thank you yeah if it is clear then no problem 
Clear, sir. No issue, sir. Okay. Now, you see the general view on ontology-based data access. How it look like? You are the end user, or peer, or customer. You are posing a question like query. That query is related to health domain. You are asking whether I am having a COVID-19 virus infection or not. This is the query I am asking. I am ha I am having cold and I am having fever. Some symptoms based on that one. I am getting a doubt. I am asking the query. So whether I am having a COVID nineteen virus infection or not, that question leads to the which database. So there are multiple heterogeneous databases are there. Heterogeneous means different kinds of databases. like uh, pneumonia database healthcare related and covid 19 ebola virus or uh, um, uh, diabetic uh, data health health database different kinds of heterogeneous data sources are there now my query is mapping to particular covid 19 healthcare database so this is the analogy of ontology ontology gives us based on the data and based on the uh, relation ship between that data whether it is a existing data or whether it is current data or whether it is future coming data that type of relation explained by the ontology ontology okay so it is a general view of uh, ontology based data access so before going to uh, databases computer understands only ones and zeros if you press capital a system cannot understand capital a because internally it converts into ascii format ascii stands for american standard code for information interchange for every character in keyboard there is a ascii value so there is a standard uh, uh, standard numbers for each keyboard each letter in the keyboard so that's why capital a is 65 small a is 7, 97 capital a is 65 if you divide it by 2 you are getting the binary equivalent number is 100001 that is the binary equivalent of 65 what you have to do so for every character there is a ascii value it is a within fraction of seconds whatever the data you are asking it converts internally and responding immediately so that's why computer understands only binary language now measure one bit is equal to 0 or 1 Four bits is equal to one nibble. Eight bits is equal to one byte. Four bytes is equal to one word. Four words is equal to thousand twenty-four bytes. Thousand twenty-four bytes is equal to one kilobyte. Thousand twenty-four kilobyte is equal to one megabyte. Thousand twenty-four megabyte is equal to one gigabyte. Thousand twenty-four gigabytes is equal to one terabyte. Thousand twenty-four terabytes is equal to one petabyte. Thousand twenty-four petabytes is equal to one hexabyte. Thousand twenty-four hexabyte is equal to one octabyte. Thousand twenty-four octabyte is equal to one jettabyte. Hi, I am Robo. My speed is one terabytes and memory is one jettabyte. Thanks to Shankar Director Sir and Rajni Sir, they have introduced the latest terminology of measuring the data. Before that, we don't know actually. So with that movie, everybody knows there is a terminology called terabytes and jettabytes. That's why thousand twenty-four jet b is equal to one yettabyte. Thousand twenty-four yettabyte is equal to one bronto byte. Thousand twenty-four bronto byte is equal to one geo byte. If you ask me after that, there is no terminology. Thousand twenty-four geo byte is equal to infinity. Same thing we can represent in a mathematical range. So, one kilobyte is ten power three. One megabyte is ten power six. One gigabyte is ten power nine. One terabyte is ten power twelve. And one petabyte is ten power fifteen. One hexabyte is ten power eighteen. One jettabyte is ten power twenty one. One yottabyte is ten power twenty four. Brontobyte is ten power twenty seven. 
geo by t is 10 power 30 this is the way we are measuring the huge volume of data in obda ontology based data access so that is any doubt my dear students my dear faculty members any doubt any doubt sir uh, the data the data is yes. it audible sir the data which we, you are keeping in the form of uh, gigabytes what is yes. the basic idea to mention this unit sir either giga or mega or something correct wow, fantastic question sir actually uh, see we are sticking uh, in the basic level bits and bytes computer understands only binary language okay ones and zeros developed by george boole scientist george boole and uh, so we are increasing the size of the hard disk that is rom read only memory so day by day number of users are increasing that's why data centers are increasing so this this terminology given by the experts of it industry in order to measure the huge volume of data, there is a relationship between bit to geobyte. How many terminologies relation is there? Yes, we have nibble, we have a byte, we have a word, we have a bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, based on the mathematical representation and the Greek terminology, and they have incorporated uh, IT words with the Greek terminology, they have given the relationship between uh, old data and existing data and the future coming data. That type of relation is called uh, ontology related data. Sir, it is. Hello. Hello, I am explaining this, uh, measuring the data in uh, ontology-based data access. Our, our first and foremost item is data. Data is a raw material. Data can be anything, numeric data, string data, character data, audio data, video data, text data, graphics data, any kind of data available in the real-time environment. Okay. Any doubt, sir? Is it clear? Sir, please respond. Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Clear. Thank you, madam. Uh, my dear students, please ask me any query. I'm giving the time, one minute time. If you are having any... Uh, you can unmute your uh, mics and you can ask any questions if it is there, please. Any, any doubt, uh, my dear uh, faculty members and my dear uh, students? My screen is available. Yes, sir. Any, yes, sir. Any doubt, my dear students? Sir, in Please ontology definition, yourself. in ontology definition, you said about existence of data and being in data, no, sir? Yes, existing data, being data, and future data means reality. Relationship what is between, a... yeah. What Tell is me. the difference between existence and being data, sir? Yeah, existence means George Boole invented a number system, binary number system, one and zero. Okay, so that is already existing data. Zero and one already proposed and invented by George Boole. And being data, what we are using, still computer understands only binary language numbering system that is called B and the future reality we are solving n number of applications health related applications education domain applications etc madam hello 
Yeah. Yes, sir. I understood, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Next, I am going to explain ontology-based data access. It is an approach that involves the use of ontologies to provide a conceptual view of data source. What is a data source? Facebook is a data source. Okay. And a Gmail account is a, for a Google, it is a data source. Stock market data source. So we are enabling users to access data in a format that is more understandable and closer to their domain of expertise. Okay. I'm asking the data coordinator, please give me who are attended in this particular uh, training program. So immediately coordinators are collecting data from the uh, system. Okay. So uh, they are second year students and uh, they are studying third semester and uh, I'm taking their old, uh, uh, I mean, old uh, semester's data like uh, first semester, second semester, what is the percentage they got it, what is the attendance they have maintained. And now I'm checking with the current attendance and uh, current percentage with the existing one. So there is a relationship between old data, current data, and the future data. I can predict what sort of percentage he is going to get. So that is in particular educational domain for student database related domain I'm discussing. So that's why it becomes easier to extract relevant information. When we can call it as information, process data is called information from databases. What is database? Collection of interrelated data. To manage the database, we are using various database languages like SQL, MySQL, Teradata, DB2, MS Access. And we are storing that databases in the data warehouses, storing a huge volume of data in the system, server, and data centers. We are storing huge volume of data that is called a data warehousing. With the help of data cubes, we are storing. Database with the help of tables, we are creating the database. And other forms of structured data, semi-structured data. Structured data is nothing but we are creating tables with the help of schema, with the help of relation, with the help of structure, with the help of procedure, we are creating the table. Table is consists of columns and rows. Collection of tables is called a database. So based on the SQL, MySQL, Teradata, DB2, MS Access, these are the relational database tools. We are creating the database. And the non-relational databases like Mongo database and uh, Hive database, HBase database, Scoop, Zookeeper, Uzi, Cassandra, these are the non-relational database tools in order to maintain audio data, video data, text, graphics, animation kind of databases. That is called, uh, you can call it as uh, semi-structured data, combination of XML data, I mean 50% structured data and 50% unstructured data. Unstructured data deals with only audio, video, a graphics, animation, images kind of data. So that's why uh, ontology-based data access provide more intelligent and flexible access to data. So if you are asking health-related data, it gives only health-related statistics about COVID-19. How many uh, uh, patients are having attacked by the COVID-19 virus like uh, and flexible access to data. It is particularly useful in environments where data is a heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means different uh, file uh, formats. Like uh, uh, if you take example, uh, unstructured data means heterogeneous. The, the file formats different file formats, maybe audio file, video file, text, graphics, animation, and SQL files, MySQL files, DB2 files. This comes under heterogeneous and distributed because server is located in different locations. And it is necessary to provide a unified, understandable view of the data. Everybody can access the data and everybody can 
uh, understand the data that shows this ontology related data so industries like healthcare domain manufacturing and logistics among others have found great uh, utility in uh, ontology based data access systems so i'm taking one example for ontology of data science you can understand very easily where ontology is presented in this latest domain called data science i am starting with the data because before the data i don't know everything is raw material so data itself raw material fact audio video text graphics animation once we are applying any process or logic and the process data is called information once you got information you can give input to the system and apply the machine learning algorithms and predict the future data then collection of interrelated data is called a database to manage the database we are using database management tools like okay sql mysql teradata db2 ms access so what is in the database system combination of data plus db ms is called a database system subset of data warehousing or you can call it as a data warehousing part that is called a data mart collection of data marts or online analytical processing is called a data warehousing storing of huge volume of data in a system server and data center then data mining extracting meaningful interested patterns from the huge volume of data and uh, with the help of classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection we are getting uh, interested information or meaningful data then once you have a data we can call it as a big data big data usually starts with the terabytes petabytes etc and uh, deals with the three big v's like volume velocity variety volume says that the size of the data veracity says that size of the data velocity says that motion and the picture of the data and uh, variety different file formats then uh, coming to data science that is the latest buzzword and having relationship between data to big data see data to big data there is a, there is a transformation there is a relationship between many items are there information is there database is there dbms is there this database system is there data mart is there data warehousing is there data mining is there and big data that's why it is called ontology of data science any doubt my dear students my dear faculty members please no